is Coach Tony Morgan and today's video is on the Raveny 85 CSI. So we're going to be going through the flow sequence of this boiler on the primary circuit for hot water and heating. So again, Diane's going to describe what's going on, how it flows, and you can see how our knowledge is growing day by day on this boiler, on various boilers in our reality classroom training. So Diane, I want to explain the flow sequence on the primary water for hot water and for heating. So over to you. Okay, the customer selects uh, hot water with a hot water tap and what that does, um, it starts the flow of mains water into the fleet heat exchanger and point, starts the point, uh, diverter uh, there. Okay, so the cold water comes in where your screwdriver is? Yeah, that's right, and it comes through into the diverter valve there. Okay. which the it switches uses one of the switches the micro switches there through the diaphragm to actually uh, open the correct port and close the, the central heating port so that starts things moving and what happens is um, the flow um, starts well the return starts here at the back of the pump okay, here right. all right and this goes all the way around here back into a recuperator now a recuperator um, reheats um, some of the return water to make this boiler more efficient. So what it does, the products of combustion from previous ignitions and, and, and burning actually warm this uh, water as it comes out here. It goes round here and down here into the main um, heat exchanger. It then goes round, comes out here as the primary flow. It comes down here, if you follow the pipe round, and back into here. And that then goes, goes into the plate heat exchanger through this pipe here. There. Right, okay. And it goes across the heat, uh, heat plate heat exchanger there. It comes out to the back of the uh, return Right, pipe okay, and into the pump. Shows round that side what you mean. Right, round. So, so it comes round out of here, right. round into here, and round into the pump, out of the pump, and round again. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Real. Right. Okay, so let's look at the central heating. The customer selects uh, an external control, uh, a room thermostat, uh, and a programmer usually. And what that does, it puts demand onto the boiler. And that causes the uh, diverter valve uh, to be at rest for, for central heating on this boiler. Yep, that's okay. right. And then uh, what happens then, it, it obviously in that position, it actually um, starts with the return coming out of the back of the pump. pump here, all the way up as before, through into the recuperator which uh, yep. heats the water some more from the products of combustion from previous um, um, yep. ignitions and burning and it comes round here and down here all the way into the heat exchanger it comes out here down on the primary flow down here it comes down here down this pipe here and out this pipe here and that goes to the radiators it goes round the radiators and comes back to the return which is on here and can there. you see that there? Oh yeah, it comes yeah, in there. there. And then it goes back up through the pump, sorry, it comes back up here through the pump and round again and it reheats again and again. Excellent. Okay, brilliant. Now we're going to look at the ignition sequence on the central heating. So Dan's going to describe that. Take it away, Dee. Oh, cheers, thank you. Right, the uh, customers... Um, calling for heat in terms of the room thermostat and the programmer so the external controls are calling for uh, heat so what that's picked up by the, um, PCB. By the PCB and the PCB then starts the pump running the PCB then starts the um, fan running and the fan running um, starts the pressure switch, uh, pressure switch uh, air yeah. pressure switch, switch the which makes yep. And then what happens then is 
uh, it goes back to the PCB that then then energizes the gas valve there that comes back and it starts the ignition so gas is then into the the burner and mixed and then what happens is um, ignition happens from the board here it's, a igni generator, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. ignited and then you've got it's picked up by the flame uh, sensing electrode there which goes back to the board and that completes the ignition cycle so if that is complete then the boiler will start to run and circulate and provide heat uh, to the to radiators okay and then what's it sensed by the um, temperature uh, by this uh, primary sensor here that's it if this is faulty it can stop the boiler running that's it excellent look at that what do you think guys so finally what we're going to look at now is the hot water sequence so you can listen to Dan's description about that. Okay, the customer opens a hot water tap um, which allows water to come in to the diverter valve there which pushes out the diaphragm and makes a switch. So that means that the, the water will go to the plate heat exchanger which is is it here okay for the primary so the primary water goes across here to here but I'm talking about the ignition sequence now so looking at that what that does by that starting and that switch being out that starts uh, that goes back to the PCB which starts the pump the pump then starts circulating and uh, the once that starts circulating it goes back to the PCB, it starts the fan again yeah. and the pressure switch is made and that starts uh, the ignition sequence in terms of it goes back down to the PCB which then starts, uh, which energises the gas valve which then allows um, the, the gas, gas um, to come into here and uh, to be ignited. It's ignited by this uh, electrode here, yeah, the spark generator on the PCB, yeah, spark generator there, and then it's sensed by the uh, flame sensing electrode there, which goes back to the board. So that actually uh, completes the cycle. Now there are two sensors that work in hot water. There is a primary sensor here that has to work, and there's also the hot water sensor there that has to work. So these two have to work for it to complete its cycle and deliver the hot water. Okay, excellent. So there you have it guys. This is um, the description on this boiler, what you've just seen. So, if you like to be in a position like Diane is in, being able to do this, describe how this boiler works, just click on the link below and find out more. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. So, bye for now.